Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable Anniversary. Alright, when we left off, we had just gotten to this point in the quest, the Prophets of the Fireheart, and they told us that I can either free them or kill them. One would be nicer, one would not be as nice, and I'd still get the Fireheart as long as I complete the puzzle in a given way. Uh, I did a quick run of it myself, which is why I haven't started it quite yet. <laughs> Because I know it starts immediately after I press A. Uh, I did a quick run of it to make sure I could do it. Uh, I also managed to have all of them live, but I wanted to show you guys how I did that because I'm not an asshole <laughs> and just deprive you of that information. Although to be fair, uh, some of them give you a little extra time to be able to do it. One of them was a bit tight, but I managed to get the ones after it just fine, so I think it was just that one that was a little goofy, and I might have goofed it up here once or twice. Anyway, time to give it a shot. Yep, to free each prophet, you must convert all the moon signs into sun signs by walking over them, or you can kill them by turning all the squares into moon signs, and we'll still solve the puzzle. The fire heart erupts into a powerful flame with every beat of its pulse. If you don't complete the puzzle before the timer runs out, you will be scorched. So it just damages me a little bit overall, really. So it's not the worst thing, honestly. So there we go. And get that. Get this. Get this. And then down the way. Perfect. Thank you, hero. Use the fire heart wisely. This guy was a nice guy. I liked him. I wanted to keep him alive. Okay. This is where the weird stuff happens. Yeah, for now, you say. It's good. There we go. This one was rather simpler. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, sunny, sunny, sunny. What's happening? The light is so beautiful. Yeah, it better be. I'm coming. I'm pretty sure your mother's dead by now. Excellent. Probably. Alright. Well, well, I'm trying, believe me, but you talking the entire time I'm trying to do it does not help me much. There we go. Uh, there we are. Let's get this and then this. And that should do it. Perfect. Yes, All right. freedom at last in your face, eternal confinement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know why That's adorable. A hero. Okay. Well, I try to be, believe me. Ah, I try a little more often than I should. There we go. And there, and there. This one's going to be a little difficult, I think. Nope. No, it will not. <laughs> Never mind. Well, true, gentlemen. I try. I shall join my fellow prophets now. Cheerio. Cheerio. Hip, hip, cheerio. Oh, you. You I'd let die if it wasn't, you know, going to ruin my morality. Besides, I said I would try to keep them alive, didn't I? I mean, I did. Doesn't mean I have to, but... I mean, I can. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you're not too bad, you know. No, you don't say. Oh, postcard. For all your... No bitching and whining and moaning. And there's the fire heart. The textures went weird that time. First time I did it, they didn't goof up. Okay. God, that thing is loud. But I have the fire heart. A gem of awe-inspiring beauty and mystical powers. Alright. Uh, and what do we got? Got to get to lookout point to talk a little bit with our uh, fellow guild members. Well, the good ones. Ones we didn't have, have to kill. Fire heart. Excellent. Yep. I knew you'd be able to do it. I knew I those too. Profits were a barrel of laughs too. You oh, yeah. got to do the fun stuff. Kind of. Uh. Well. I've been looking into these summoner creatures, and I'm starting to think throwing away the Sword of Eons wasn't the best idea after all. Really? These things are bad. Too late to do anything now, though. 
Hmm, perhaps not. Hmm. Well, it's only an old legend, but... For centuries, there have been tales of a powerful weapon hidden in the guild, and imbued with the essence of all the heroes buried there. Ah. But the only one who's shown any real interest in it lately is Maze. He was obsessed with finding it. We know well, why now, of course. Yeah, of course. Perhaps you can find whatever he discovered in his old quarters. Do I have but to? Don't forget, it is vital that you place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Fair Its enough. Power so will summon the ship to take you to the Northern Wastes. All right. Good so luck once more. Here. The whole thing with the uh, other sword, the one that's just as powerful as the Sword of Aeons, is apparently. Just a side quest, not a part of the main quest. It's just an ability I can get to get a more powerful weapon. Although, to be fair, the current sword I have is pretty damn strong, too. So, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if I want to devote the time to getting it, but I might get it anyway if I can hit the right buttons. Okay. Uh, the Hidden Sword. Investigate the legend of a powerful sword hidden deep in the guild. Go to Maze's quarters and uncover his research on the Hidden Sword. But first I want to look at mine. Because mine's at 203. My sword's not that bad. I mean, it could be better, but it's not bad. Plus it's fast. <laughs> and plus it has a lot of the good augmentations you would want. For pretty much any given situation. So, I mean, it's a good weapon. I don't really need the other sword. I'll get it anyway, <laughs> because I want to show you guys how, but I don't need it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. You've received a new quest card. I received a new quest card, huh? Well, I mean, I'm right here in front of the guild, might as well. All right, in we go. My tongue <laughs> does not feel good. I ate a lot of sour stuff because I'm a fucking slave to sour. And my tongue feels like it's disintegrating <laughs> because of all the fucking acid that's in sour. Uh, I must have eaten too much. <laughs> I must have eaten, must have ate too much of it and... <laughs> It just, eh. I can, I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird thing. I'm pretty sure I didn't earn anything new. Yeah, I didn't earn anything new when it came to experience. So there's really no point in me being in there. And besides, anything I do get would be just to shore up my magical power at best. So what's the new quest card, huh? There's no new quest card. You lied to me. You lied to me. Okay. I guess I gotta go to Maze's little thing of my bobber. Uh, where's that anyway? Um, there we go. Zoom in. I didn't want to zoom in. I wanted to know where it was. God damn it. Okay. Well, maybe if I find his quarters, wherever the hell they are, I'll be able to fucking do the thing. Oh, wasn't this? Wasn't this where I used to be? I could have sworn this was where I grew up. Yeah, I think this is a little room. Yeah, this was my bed. Yeah, how about that? I think. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay. That said, let's fucking find Maze's quarters. Because gods damn it. Uh, wait. Wasn't his quarters a little tower thing? Oh, I'm a dumbass. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dummy, dumb, dumbass. How many times can I say dumbass? Way more than you think, but less than you hope. Okay, let's just fucking go to the thing. <laughs> I think you have to go up the tower. Yeah, you have to go up the tower to do the fucking thing if I cannot fucking stop rolling into shit. They're running into shit. That too. Whoa. This got cleaned out. All right, well, look around the thing. Jack of Blades. All right, well, that's the thing. References to Avos Tear are hard to come by, but I won't give up. 
If I could wield its power in my hands, everything could be r different. I would be able to stop him myself, or at least hand it to someone with the courage to face him. Hmm. Second entry. Today I found the best description of the Legend of Avos tier yet. It was in an appendix to a rare edition of A History of the Guild and describes how the sword was created. Unfortunately, there is no mention of where it might be hidden. Hmm. Okay. Third entry. At last, I found a tattered scroll with the location of Avos tier. Retrieving it couldn't be simpler. One need only read the inscription on the intergrave of the... Inter... Uh. <laughs> Read the inscription on the empty grave in the guild courtyard and think of the weapon to be judged by the old heroes. I can only hope they can see my true intents and find me deserving. Well, my throat's starting to die. Give me a second to drink my coffee. <laughs> oh, that was louder than I anticipated. I'm sorry. <laughs> and because the thing didn't open properly. There we go. Anyway. I had to take another sip. All right. Fourth entry. It didn't work. I'm forever in his grasp. Oh, so he tried. And he failed. So he just gave up. That explains a lot. Okay. So he was actually fighting till the bitter end. It just didn't work out for him. Okay. Fine. Make Maze the good guy in the last very second after his death. Post-mortem, but whatever, I guess. You can do that if you want. We go to the guild graveyard. And, uh, find this empty thing. Huh. Empty graveyard with gravestone with an inscription on it. Let's see if I can get into this yet. Probably not. Nope. I have 8 out of 20. I sure as fuck was not getting into that. Can I get into that demon door, though? I wonder. Want to check. Huh. And, oh, of course it doesn't want to let me talk Your to it. Your path is dark. Is it? Only a light will reveal it. And you're not bright enough. What do you mean not bright enough? What do you mean not bright enough? I'm pretty sure I'm angelic. Why did I hit the wrong button again? I'm pretty sure you're meaning me. And meaning my, like, alignment. And my alignment's pretty damn high. Oh, my scariness is also pretty high, too. That's not good. I'm... I'm 58? What? Wow, my aging stopped real suddenly. I went from, like, fucking 18 to 40... Within the first few episodes of this fucking thing. We haven't even gotten into a full day of gameplay yet. And I'm... F okay. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Burpily McBurperson here. Okay. I guess I can't get into that because I'm not bright enough. Whatever the fuck that means. So... I'm going to go towards the guild graveyard, wherever the fuck that is. I have no fucking idea. I'm gonna hope this is it. It's a guild of woods. No, I don't think that's it. I honestly don't think that has it there. Uh, does it have... Read the empty grave in the guild courtyard. Oh, it would be in the courtyard. Did I not read that properly? Am I dumb? I might be dumb. I might be very fucking dumb. Dumbass McDumber ass son. See? I could say dumbass more. Just not as much. Okay, so it was an empty grave. Oh, are these technically graves? Is that what these are? Okay, it was an empty grave. This one looks full. Those two look full. This one does not. So maybe... If I look at this one. This grave awaits a hero worthy of joining the legends who lie here. But maybe if we I think of the sword... You are pure of heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our land. Ah, uh, I did. We judge you worthy hero. 
May Argo's tear burn through the forces of evil in your hands. Ah! Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> also, you're impressed I got that high, huh? <laughs> Avo's tear. This sword was imbued with extraordinary power when the great guild mage Sol... Solchius? Solchius? I don't fucking know. It's one of those weird Roman names. Used it in a spell to close a large vortex. For a long time, it has existed only as a myth among acolytes. Its strength rivals even the Sword of Aeons, which is true. I had to look this up. <laughs> well, I mean, look up the sword itself. I was looking up the Sword of Aeons, and it linked to Avos Tear, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna look into this. And then found the sword is pretty much equal in the damage strength and has the exact same augmentations to boot and that makes it pretty damn good in my opinion but but it does not make it better than my current sword right now yes the health augmentation is great it helps me keep myself healed which is a thing i love to do in games if you have seen my Elder Scrolls Online build, you would know I love using health stealing. But, it just isn't worth it for me. It's just a 27 point boost when my other sword has so much more usefulness to it. Or at least, I think. I don't know. I'll let you guys debate that in the comments. I debate that mainly at me. <laughs> because apparently I'll be the one who's the idiot. But I'm probably not going to use this sword all that much. Unless you guys yell at me enough that I have to use it. But I'm not planning on that. I'm not, honestly. But I managed to find the sword. Uh, with relatively little stupidity involved. Yay! Okay. So, I think we should move on to one of the other big questicle things. Ever that is. Maybe I can talk to the guildmaster and let him know that I just found the sword. Maybe that's the thing I can do. Maybe. Where is he at? That's the question. There he is. Where he always is. You must place the fire heart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Is that all you have to say to me? Okay. Well, fine, I guess. Also, your voice sounded different. I don't think that was the same voice actor. I honestly don't think it was. Alright, Hook Coast. Oh, I keep skipping over the bastard. There we go. Perfect. Ding! Okay. Alrighty. There is no better way into someone's heart than presenting them with a gift. But be careful who you try to woo. And remember, variety is always appreciated. Yeah, about that. They're going to take the same gift over and over again and like it. Oh, okay. Hero, I've been expecting you. As you can see, the town's been evacuated, just like the Guildmaster asked. Okay. Must be something serious, eh? Well, it wasn't easy getting everyone out on such short notice, but as guards know our duty. Okay. Oh, I Good could tell you some stories I could. Really? But uh, you probably don't want to hear them right now. I'll just leave it to you, sir. Good day. Good day. All right. Place the fire heart in the lighthouse. Well, that won't be too hard. Yeah, they had to evacuate the town for what exactly? I don't quite recall. I honestly don't realize why they had to do it. I don't think they actually had to. All right, up we go. Can I take that? I can. Why did I never take that? 500 again. Why did I never take that? That would have been nice. Okay. Up I go. Oh, more stairs. Yay. Always fun to walk up stairs. It's always so fun in real life and video games. Oh, especially when I can't fucking deal with the camera. Alright. What do we got here? 15. Again. Can't get into it. Also, fucking coffee burps. It's not pleasant. Alright. And, I'm pretty sure, using this can get it into the thing. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Is the fire heart in place? Good. Meet me downstairs. 
That's not what the subtitles said. At least the beginning part. According to the books, the ship should arrive as soon as the heart's energy reaches full power. All right. It also broke things on what that the thing. Hell? All right. What the? A summoner. It's trying to destroy the heart. We have to. We have to protect it. Okay. Come on, we have to stop it before it destroys the fire heart. Okay. Well, fun, fun stuff. Let's get them. Come on. Okay. Ow. Jeez. Come on. Jeez. Uh, there we go. Now we're getting some damage out of it. Ow. Good job. Ow. You are really hurting me here. Yeah, that's it. I was about to say that. It's really strong. More summoners. The what? heart needs more time to power up. Come on. How many of them are there? Like, I don't have the time to beat these motherfuckers into the ground. Jeebus. Okay, let's just heal up a little bit. And grab that. There we go. These guys are still around. These guys are still around. Come on. There we go. I guess, I guess that's a thing. Okay. Gotta deal with this guy for now. Come on. There we go. Okay. Come on. You die. Buddy. Jesus. You are really tough. You are tougher than all hell. Now I got you, though. Nice try. Yeah, I got you. Okay, you're gonna die. Oops, I missed. That's not gonna happen again. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, and that, and another one of these. Ah. There we go. Okay. That's good enough. All right, we have one more of those we have to kill. I'm pretty sure I could do that with all these shenanigans going on. Jesus. Okay. That didn't work out in my favor. That really didn't work out in my favor. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Come on. You, you can take a lot of finesse hits. That is really hilarious. Oh. Okay, they all exploded. Um. Okay. What is all that sound? Uh what? Here's your ride. Looks uh, cozy. When you get to the northern wastes, uh -huh. your guild seal will activate the local teleporters, and I'll be able to join you. Okay. Scythe would have done it long ago. But he destroyed his seal before he arrived. Didn't want Maze to know what he was up to, I guess. I guess. Well, have a nice trip. Maybe when I see you next, we can have a snowball fight. Really? And this the thing strange, is a lot of fucking silent noise. ship set sail into the featureless swell. Day after day, it carved its path among the waves. Uh -huh. An ocean phantom moving ever forward. Then the moment came. When icy peaks speared out of the horizon mist, these were the shores of the Lost Bay. The northern wastes lay beyond them. All right, the ship of the drowned. Well, it definitely lived up to its name. Winter is coming, really? You had to use that line? I'm pretty sure that was on purpose. That's a lot of noise. Jesus. Okay. Now we're done with that. Good gods. How much longer is this going to take? I need to end this episode. Okay, why is that showing there? Welcome to the Northern Wastes, Guildsman. I had feared you lost. Nope. I am Scythe. Though yeah. my name has long been forgotten in the guild. Maze saw to that. Your face is kinda my hard to miss, for really. Not meeting you in person. I must remain in Snowspire Village and protect it from summoners. Oh, you too, eh? Terrible though they are, they are but a symptom of a much greater power rising in these lands. Fair enough. Meet me in Snowspire in the far north. 
I will explain everything. And will you? Then we must consult the town's ancient oracle. I pray we okay. can awaken it, and that it holds the answers we seek. Me too! Because I'm more in the dark than ever before now. You've received a new quest card. Yay! Also, apparently, I can use that Kelliscate to get back here. So, I can go back and... Hey, are up and running. Nice work. I'm going to have a look around after speaking to Sai. Catch you later. Okay, thank you for interrupting me. But yeah, I can just go back and sell stuff or buy stuff and then come back here if I need to. Which I probably will need to because I think I'm running low on will potions. And health potions. And everything regarding potions. So, <laughs> I'm going to end the episode here for right now. I just wanted to check over here real quick. Yep, nothing important. Okay, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat, playing games and beating the shit out of a bunch of summoners while protecting the Fireheart and saving the profits that were guarding it, kind of, for you.